Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Bitcoin. Yeah, just a quick update here before um, our member live stream that I still need to do a little bit of preparation for. We'll start that in around about an hour in case you're interested uh, to learn about how to navigate third wave rallies and my thoughts around the current crypto market in general. Feel free to check out the membership. You can then join our member live stream. If not today, you can always rewatch it. Uh, you can rewatch all previous sessions and they are not only relevant now, they will be relevant in the future because we typically combine these live stream tutorials or live streams with, yeah, you know, tutorials and um, some educational content that is also relevant, you know, in the future. It's all about Elliott Wave, um, thoughts around how to trade Elliott Waves and so on. Link is in the description. Um, yeah, but this structure is extremely challenging here to interpret. Um, because yeah we you know we are grinding higher absolutely bitcoin has not made a new all-time high yet so just stay just below the friday high but obviously any all-time high um, leads to a bit of a rejection 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 it's climbing higher it's grinding higher but very very much overlapping price action what do i mean with that well you see it clearly that all these waves here they do overlap the previous swing highs for example here so rally in three waves, we came down, uh, not really a breakout. Next rally, yep, bit higher, come down, cuts into the previous high. Rally, great, uh, breakout, oh, come back, okay. All these overlaps with previous swing highs. Another rally, couldn't break out, okay. Another rally, couldn't break out, okay. Overlap with that high. So that's not impulsive price action. That always means it's very fragile it means it's very fragile. It's probably ending something. This move up is ending something. It could be the end of, um, it could be the end of this third wave, as we said. So if it's following the white structure, which it definitely can do, as long as the red line there is not broken to the downside. It's 60, what is it? 65,800 pretty much, yeah, 65,900. That's the key level there. This line anyway needs to hold because below that level, it you know, we have to reinterpret the structure. So as long as that level is holding, though, we have a setup for higher prices, possibly into the mid 70K region in this yeah, probably ending diagonal, you know, which is completing this third wave. Then we'll likely get a fourth wave pullback and then another wave five, which would complete this larger third wave. So as I promised, I will probably uh, sit down the next few days and work on some structures to you know to um, put that actually on the chart because at the moment we're still th sort of looking at the option okay maybe the third wave topped here and this is already wave four but then this is a high b wave at the same time there's no evidence at all for rolling over so i will not confirm a top in place until we have at least a break of micro support because pullbacks most recently have been extremely shallow we're still forming higher highs and higher lows yep it is still overlapping price action but that um, indicates maybe an ending diagonal, which doesn't really fully look complete yet. So it could very well stretch higher in the white structure, but it's a challenging structure to navigate also from a, from a trading point of view, because diagonals often require a change in wave structures. Now, so far it's holding the structure and there's no need to change anything, but that might happen. In an ideal world, it's now breaking higher. I mentioned to you a break above $70,030 would suggest the onset of wave C of three here. With that, we would get a third, fourth and fifth wave in wave C. That level isn't broken yet. Okay, yes, it's climbing higher and this one two set up here in wave C of three. That so far has played out and um, the market is moving higher. We saw it already late yesterday that there was a response here um, to the previous swing lows. Those structural support levels, micro support levels did hold and the market is pushing higher. And I mean, you can have the perspective that this wave two bottomed. Okay, so as long as we don't break below 68K, which is the nearest support, the focus can be on higher below 68K. Okay, this wave two would reset possible in a flat structure. And then below that 65,900, 65,800 level. Yeah, we will have to, th this one two setup is invalidated. Okay, then we can think about, okay, you know, is it this wave too that will reset? So there's a lot of um, changing in the wave counts. It's possible from there. But for now, the nearest support and the nearest invalidation point 
is here at 68k very very important to know about that one and um yeah a convincing break above 70,030 is needed to suggest that this c wave to the upside is actually unfolding and the next fibonacci resistances in my opinion that are relevant are to be found here at 73,890, 76,290, and so on. Yeah. So I'm, I'm watching that, but it's not an impulsive structure. And it also seems as if this C wave is not impulsive. So it's difficult yeah, to navigate. But I'll mention to you the relevant breakout points, the relevant support levels, invalidation points, and uh, maybe we'll see a little bit more action as we're heading towards the end of the weekly candle close, as it typically is the case. So that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.